Keen, describe a typical week for you at the TY class, say Monday to Friday. Okay, so a week at the TY class consists of training every day, um, extra gym sessions. We also do our class subjects and then our modules like our Rover's Mindset and our leadership classes. And what subjects are you learning here? We do English, Irish, Maths, French and we also do PE. And are any subjects new to you, say, in this educational year? Um, no, not, not any of them. I would have done French and stuff in my old school. So you did all the languages? Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you attend the graduation ceremony uh, featured last year's class? No, I actually didn't. I was actually down the country, but I heard it was very, very good. And how do you manage on training days? Um, say, what time do you finish class and what time do you then begin your evening training sessions with your own team? Well, it varies every day. So we normally finish between three and four. Um, but I don't train till half seven. So I live in Wicklow. So I end up having to stay here. But it's, it's not, no problem. Like, I, I enjoy staying here. and You know, I get a lot of extra work done and stuff. So what type of stuff do you get done? How do you pass your time? Um, well, we, we might go out onto the pitch and play a bit and uh, or just go into the gym and recover. What aspects of your life would you think have developed uh, you as a res direct result of your participation on the TY programme? Um, I'd say a lot of aspects of my life have, have improved. Uh, I'd say one of the main things is my timekeeping. I seem to, seem to be quite early for everything and um, I find it quite annoying now when I'm a bit late. Um, also, we have a lot of daily habits here, like checking the facility for, for uh, how clean it is and like pushing your chair in when you're, go when you're leaving the room. So you say it's, it's made you more responsible? I would say in that, yeah. Sense. yeah. Um, apart from the normal subjects you would do in school, uh, what else have you been studying and learning at the Rovers Ashfield College programme? Well, we do uh, Rover's Mindset, which is you're looking at like the likes of visualization and motivation and uh, your training scripts and stuff like that. And we also do a leadership module where you look at how to be a good leader. We also have um, guest speakers and we do... Um, when you say guest speakers, um, like who would come and what would they talk about? Well, for example, we had Graham Merrigan in who um, was talking about how his, uh, his Olympic journeys and stuff like that. And I just found that very interesting uh, to see how passionate he is about the club. So it gives you an insight into, you know, another side of life, yeah. basically. Yeah. And you feel you're taking all of this on board, yeah. Um, you spent a lot of time over the year with your classmates. Uh, who impresses you the most? I'd say Barry Keeley impresses me the most. He, uh, he's a good attitude on and off the pitch and he, uh, participates very well in class and uh, yeah he's always early and of course Barry's a teammate of yours as well yeah that right and um, there has to be funny character in the classroom as well who would you say that is I'd say Jack Ellis is probably the funny character in, in the class because he uh, comes up with probably more random stuff but it normally makes the whole class laugh Katie, before your participation in the Rovers Ashfield College TY programme, had you given any thought to what you might have been doing for your TY year? Yeah, I was, um, I was originally going to be doing my TY year in my old school, um, and then the opportunity came up here for to do it up here with Ashfield and Rovers and all, so I decided to come up here. So I, I really... I Did you give it much thought before you decided for it? Yeah, obviously, because I had to step away from school and see my friends and all, but... It was a good opportunity to come up here to improve as a footballer, so I, I did it, yeah. And what would your typical day here consist of? Um, well, it varies day to day, but like, for example, on a Monday, we come in here at half nine every morning and we have our journal, so we'd write in there like our focus for the day and what we want to work on. Then we'd probably go into the gym and do correctives. Then we would have a class, we'd have an English class for our teacher. Then we'd have a little break in between, and then it'd lead on to our training session. So it could be a technical session or um, like 5v5, like little mini games kind of. Then we'd have our lunch then for an hour. Um, then we'd have a gym session with Paddy, our gym coach. Then after that, we'd, we'd do PE then. And 
you, then we'd go home. So like various day to day, but yeah. So Monday sounds quite hectic then. Yeah, it's very structured and a lot going on. And what about your friends and classmates from your your normal school? Uh, what would they be doing during their TYU? Um. Well, obviously they'd be in school kind of so. They'd still do their normal subjects and obviously helping around like a lot of the school and going on a few trips and all so but yeah it's kind of similar kind of here but ours is more football based. Yeah so they're missing out on some of the stuff that you're doing and you're missing out on some of the stuff that they're doing but yeah. you would rather be here would you? Yeah I'd definitely rather be here yeah. Um, the graduation for this uh, class will be happening next month do you think you have improved as a person during your year on the programme? Yeah definitely I think um, all of our daily habits I think have helped me as a person like writing in our journal what you want to focus on so like you have a thing to focus on every day so you have a specific thing and like timekeeping being on time to everything and yeah it's definitely helped me as a person like develop and all yeah how has your participation on the program helped you to improve as a footballer in addition to the normal training schedule for the team overall yeah, well, unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to train this year during our school year because last year I, I ruptured my ACL. So um, I've been fo morely focused on my rehab um, and my recovery. So um, I definitely feel being here every day has helped me a lot in my recovery and to get back on the pitch as soon as possible. Is there one particular aspect of the course that you think may benefit you as an individual for your life going forward? Um, we've been doing a lot of public speaking and presenting stuff and all in front of people. I definitely think that will help me going forward, being confident speaking in front of a group of people. And yeah, I think that will help me in my life for the long. And you don't think you would have been like that before you can't start mm. on the course? No, I, I, I wouldn't have been as confident and I would have been very, very nervous speaking in front of a group of people. Um, but I think we practice it a lot here, so I think it, I've improved a lot in my public speaking. Uh, who would you say is a classroom genius? Um, probably Connor Lockheed. I'd say he's probably one of the smartest in the class right, regarding like the school subjects, the tests and stuff, so I'd say he's probably the genius.